God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the ocean. White with foam, God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet home. Okay, it's about one o'clock, we had lunch. We don't foresee any interruptions, so let's go ahead and pour our first vat of bearing. Now I have the shell in here, and we're set up so that we can easily slide it in and out. So we're gonna go ahead and program, and we actually set the program already. So we'll let this thing load up. Okay, uh, user two, blank two. We just want to double check it, so we hit edit. Uh, full rate, 800 degrees temperature, and we're gonna hold it for 60 minutes. We're gonna start. Okay, there she goes, she's firing. All right, our two strips are ready. Our shims for each location are sitting here. Our two clamps are here. Now we need to smoke or create a surface on our mandrel so that the babbit does not stick. So we're just gonna fire off our torch, really rich, and let's set this over here and we're going to smoke this outside surface. I'm going to go ahead and move this babbit over so I just don't get it all sooty in case it, it happens to be there. We'll fire that up in a minute.
Okay, it's about 1.38. It's going to take a while for that to come up, and I'll be watching the time when I think uh, it would be about time to fire off the pot because it doesn't take that long for the Babbitt to get up to melting temperature and go through the cleaning process at the same time. Okay, we're about 775 or so on the uh, temperature coming up. Uh, it's taking about 54 minutes to get to this point. We're going to fire off our Babbitt pot now. Okay. I think we're we're ready I've got enough Babbitt I believe I probably have more than enough Babbitt but this is going to be our largest pour and this is the worn out casting so I'm going to grab it and we're going to set it here we're going to put it together we're going to wrap it up um, clamp everything that needs to be clamped up double check the temperature and then we're going to pour it I just need ginger fingertips here. Okay.
Almost forgot one step. We gotta level it out. Okay. We're still measuring 550 degrees. So we're still really ready here. go okay I'm gonna clean the last of our dross off the top of the uh, Babbitt The mandrel we're reading about 150 and my casting I'm reading about 560 on that side Anywhere 530 to 570. I think I can pour this now. Fail number one. Okay, here goes my second attempt. Casting still hot. We've re recovered uh, our Babbitt. We put multiple layers down here, and we're sure that we're seeding down here now. All right, it's worth a try. We're gonna we're gonna try. It's hard because that ground out divot in there.
啊。We were shy on the Babbitt. Mm. Yeah, still weeping a little bit out down here at the bottom. Babbit drip castles. <laughs> uh. Okay, this is definitely going to be a re pour. how hard it is to mm -hmm. 
Okay. All right. Hey. Okay. Hey. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. Well, I'm going to tell you what, okay, hey. Okay, hey, and I'm not... Even though we didn't have enough to bring it all the way up to the top here because we lost so much on our pour and we thought we could just resume and reset up. So we lifted it, we put more uh, material in here. We still had a little tiny weeper, but also we had another weeper and it was, this drip castle was underneath here and it was right there and we actually, you can't even really see the hole, but you can see a little tiny dab of Babbit right there and that's a drill point from one of my drills that's how close we're wearing into that area right there okay so i'm going to touch that up so that it won't leak we'll melt this babbit out and then we know this is going to be an ultimate focus on this this area right here because the shaft came and ra rode that in so we have this diameter but we have another diameter that's the radius of the shaft that was uh rubbing on this area here. So we're gonna have to double up our cloth. We're gonna have to get some uh, uh, stove cement. I think I might run and get some stove cement because uh, I'll be able to go ahead and paint that in there 
and um, sandwich it in between our cloth. I want to make sure 100% that we're going to be able to dam this area. So those two fixes, and I think we're going to have a successful pour. I know how much Babbitt we were, we need, and we're going to have to have that pot filled to the max and and reset up. So it was a good test run, but I'm happy with the results. That besides that, this is a good pour right here. Still a little soft right there from the heat because this thing is still generating that heat. This is still almost almost liquid down in that because this preheat on on the housing we won't have to work so hard so fast we'll be able to go a little bit slower and take our time this is uh, excellent <laughs> look at that's almost that's almost molten right there in the middle still okay so i think i'm going to chip this out so it's easier to melt in the pot And we can melt it with the torch, but that, that middle section, that was good. We could get that loose there. Excellent. We know <laughs> we don't have to work so fast. We don't have to panic. It will happen. And we'll have a better bond, too, because this is it's already past that temperature. It's not letting go of that at all. That's solid. Once, once it gets to that temperature, it's holding it. All right. We just got back um, from the hardware store. We picked up some furnace cement. Uh, we were out of furnace cement, and we were trying to get by with our simulated um, asbestos strip here, which we're still using some of this. But what we did is we took care of that area where the shaft has worn into this housing here and made a dip of three sixteenths of an inch almost in the, in the middle and we thought we were going to get that so we took some strips some plastic and we sort of molded that right into that shape right there now we're still we're still one thickness of that material around here so we're going to bake it in the oven and when it comes out we're going to take and go with the uh, furnace cement. We're going to smear it in here. We're going to put one strip in there, and then we're going to drop that in there uh, wet on both sides. Uh, there was a little tiny bit of wear on this side, and we did the same thing. We laid plastic in there so that we didn't stick to our ring, and we got that. And the temperature is still, still warm on this. After all, 92 degrees right now. Okay, we're ready to put this back in the oven and get our process going again. And we've cleaned up the table. We've cleaned our Babbitt and poured it into our little mold so we're ready to work that part back again as well. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring you in close so you'll see the process on the tabletop here and a closer pour for this second attempt. Thank you. 